How are you everybody? How are you? This is what uh, I learned when I landed in, in um, Texas. <laughs> and I'm very, very happy to be uh, in Texas. This is my first time. And uh, every time I've, uh, I've been in New York City and Washington, and I was thinking one day I'll be in Texas because when I was growing up, uh, I, was, I was watching movies, cowboys, and, uh, <laughs> and I said, I, I was saying, one day I'll be in Texas, and here yeah, I yeah. am. So thank you very much uh, for your invitation. Thank you, my sister Leslie, and um, Russia. Uh, she is my translator. My English is broken, and if, uh, if you want, I can try to speak in English, and then uh, if I have uh, some problems, you can help me. Okay? So uh, I'm John Banza. I'm uh, from the Democratic Republic of Congo. Uh, which is, uh, which is the, uh, the, the second biggest country in, in Africa, it is in the heart of Africa. So the heart of Africa is uh, our country. And then uh, uh, I've been appointed Minister of uh, Planning, Environment and Cooperation after 15 years being an uh, uh, advisor of ministers. I've been in minister, the advisor of Minister of Justice, mining, uh, social affairs, uh, and so on. So more than 10, 10 ministers. Uh, so I joined politics uh, uh, since um, I've been uh, around um, 19 or 20. So I've, uh, I'm 40, 42 years old, so I have uh, more than 22 years of experience in politics. So. Uh, Politics in Congo is quite different, in, uh, like in the USA, because in the USA everything is uh, planned and uh, everything is organized. Uh, in Congo it's uh, quite opposite. So being in politics 22 years in Congo is a matter of uh, uh, destiny and leadership. So uh, I'm very happy to, to speak to, to, uh, to this generation which will lead this country and the others. And coming from Africa, you need to know that the role of America is more than leading uh, America or Europe and Asia. The future of America, the future of cooperation is in Africa. And right now, Africa is dealing big style with China. There is a reason, because the Chinese are very practical. So when they come, they say, what do you want from us? We say, okay, we need roads. They say, oh, what do you have? We have mining. Okay, give mining, we give you, we build road. And they, did, they, they do it. This is why they, they are everywhere in Africa. And we're still happy with that. So uh, in our side, we want to show America that they played a good and very, very important role for, for Congo. Because America, United States of America, was the first country to recognize Congo as an independent country. Before one year before the, the Berlin Conference in 1884. So when King Leopold was fighting against French and uh, Portuguese and everybody, America was there, and they said, "No, I recognize Congo as a country." And then, when they went to to Berlin Conference, Congo was invited as an independent country. This is a unique country, the only country set by an international conference. And then, United States was protecting Congo against France and Belgium, and even Belgium didn't want Congo. Uh, even um, uh, United Kingdom wanted to take over Congo. America was protecting it. So right now, I think that we have to talk to America and to show its role, its positive role. And we need to, 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 to continue this, uh, this uh, cooperation. And we need to talk to, to next generation leaders so that they can know exactly what, what is going on on the ground. So in my province, the province of Tanganyika is uh, is coming from the, the former province of Katanga, which is the richest province in Congo. 
Congo may be maybe the most, uh, the, the most, the, the richest country in Africa. But that's for sure. We have everything, everything you can think about, minerals, rivers, and everything. We have it in Congo. So the future of Africa depends on Congo. And then we, I'm coming from the from province of Katanga, which is the richest uh, province in Congo. And that province was split in four. And uh, my province, Tanganyika, uh, is, uh, is one of the, the four provinces uh, created recently. And my province is nothing. Uh, nothing compared to the province of uh, Lubumbashi, which always uh, been um, a, a province. So they have everything, uh, healthy, everything is there. And our new province, we start from zero. And uh, speaking about uh, health, uh, health system, there's nothing. So as Minister of, uh, of uh, uh, Planning, the governor said to me, we have to think about uh, the provincial development program. So to go there, we need to have proper studies. We need to have data and things like that. And after that, I can look for partnership, public-private partnership, and put everything together so that we can move. What we want is partnership. We want to encourage uh, people to come to, to, to our province, to come to Congo. What is uh, reported by media is just negative, negative image. And this is not correct. Because if you go to Congo, sorry, sorry. you come back, no problem. Because they say, if they kill someone, they say, oh, no, no, Congo, the Congo is not hell. It's not paradise as well, so it's like a normal country, like uh, like like every country. They're killing everywhere. I cannot I cannot list it, but they're killing everywhere. There's a problem everywhere, but Congo is still moving from uh, from the situation we we, we had from uh, the, the dictator. We are moving. It's not very fast, but we are moving. Um, we think that it's better to, to receive advices, but not orders. So we respect everybody, and we want everybody to respect us, because we are the only one who wants our development, and we are the only one who can make this development happen. We are able to do that. We have uh, everything to do that. We have population, we have uh, mine, mining, we have everything. So what we need in Congo is just peace, and Congo is peaceful. From the, the, the last the last rebellion is, uh, was around uh, 2010, so there's nothing uh, over there. So we are building, we are moving. And as a new province, this is why I'm traveling uh, to, to, uh, to, to, to show the good image of our province, the good image of Congo. And we need, we need to encourage you to think about Africa, to think about uh, about Congo in a positive way. So we need to, to, to welcome investors because as government, we have the power to protect them and protect the investment so that they can invest and they, can, they will give job to, to, to our population and then they will make money. We have, we have thousands or millions of opportunity in Congo. Everything is, uh, is wealth. Yeah, so we have thousands of opportunities, and then we are encouraging everybody to come to go. So this is uh, why I'm here, and uh, I thank you again, uh, Dr. Leslie, and uh, Texas A&M University, and you guys, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Do you have any, uh, is there anything else you would like to do to speak about? Yes, sir, plenty of time. Okay, so if it's finished, finished. <laughs> <laughs> if there's a question, I can answer. Does anyone have any questions? Um, thank, you, thank you very much for your, for your um, presentation. Could you highlight maybe two or three priorities okay. that you're facing as a uh, decision maker leader okay. in your country? The, f the first priority is having these studies because we are, we are uh, a new province so there's no record no data no nothing no studies so this is uh, the, the first one we must 
start by there. We must know who we are as province, uh, what we want, and where we are going. This is the first, the first step. And as Minister of, uh, of Planning, it's my role to, to prepare a plan, a, development, a, pro a provincial development plan, and look for partner, partners, and put everything together and make move this this uh, uh, this uh, provincial uh, <coughs> development plan. This is the, the first one. Num uh, number two is agriculture. This is why I'm I'm here because we are we have millions of uh, of lands for agriculture and agriculture in our, our province is still artisanal. So we cannot develop, we cannot feed our, our population with artisanal. And we have a big market because uh, uh, Congo is uh, at least uh, 100 million and we are surrounded by nine countries. So we have a big market uh, all around Central Africa. And my province is just in the heart of, uh, of Africa. We can connect uh, the Indian, Indian Ocean, which is just at uh, 1,000 kilometers, and Atlantic Ocean, which is uh, just uh, 2,000 2, kilometers. So we are just like this, in the middle of, of Africa. So after uh, agriculture, we have uh, medical, medical uh, issues, because women are giving birth, like, uh, uh, everywhere. So there's no structures, uh, and, and it's shocking. If, if I, could, uh, I could show you the, the, the pictures, you could cry. So we cannot, as, a, as leader, uh, 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 stay like this. So we have to, to look for a solution, and this is why we're trying to, to have a, a partnership. And we will encourage uh, a partnership with uh, uh, future doctors to come and see what is going on. And, uh, so uh, the, the third one, I think the third one, uh, <laughs> is uh, energy. Energy. We have um, we have rivers. We are the first province in Congo uh, according water. We have the Great Lake called uh, called Tanganyika, which is the name of the, the province. Tanganyika is the second deepest lake in the world. This is in my province. So if you want to visit the, the second deepest uh, let me welcome to Tanganyika. <laughs> so uh, we have Tanganyika, we have River Congo, the, the big River Congo. We have many rivers, so we need to to set up program for energy and water. So uh, this is a very very big challenge. And then once we have energy, we can now support uh, min mining and industries. There is everything. So. If some, someone is thinking about investing in mining or things like that, once we put everything in place, this is the place to, to, to invest. They are making billions. And I'm not talking about millions, I'm talking about billions. They are making right now in uh, Lubumbashi because all infrastructures are over, uh, uh, always there, already there. And then those guys who are making billions, they they saying in media, oh, don't come, Congo, Congo is bad, and they're making billions. And they say, no, 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 don't come. So we need everybody to come and, and, and invest and take money. So what we have is for everybody, unless you respect the law, and uh, we protect you, we protect your investment, you give jobs, and as, uh, as, as government, we take, we take tax. And that's, uh, that's all, everybody is, will be happy. So this is, how we're thinking about, about cooperation. And uh, I think this is the brief idea of uh, priorities. What would you say is the biggest issue that you will likely face between now and, uh, and getting those, uh, your objectives established and achieved? Yeah, the, the, the big issue is, uh, is still uh, uh, security. Uh, security, uh, I'll tell, I'm telling you that uh, we don't have no longer war. So, uh, for, for some, some years. So that we were fighting against this negative image uh, given by, by media. Okay? And there is a reason for that because 
uh, uh, international NGOs, there are th thousands in, in Congo, and they're making millions of money, uh, of dollars. I, want, I was in, uh, in, uh, in Canada when I was uh, advisor of the minister, and I went to the foreign, uh, foreign minister, minister of foreign affairs in Canada, and he said to me, we are investing millions in, in Congo. So where? So in Tamil, my province, they say yes. I said, I don't know. Okay, and then I went back. When I was appointed minister, I invited the, 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 the ambassador of, uh, of Canada, who is my friend. She came to my province, in my province, and she spent three days. And then I asked her, I, I told her, you can call your partners and ask them, what are they doing with your, the, the million you're giving? And then she called them, they came. And she asked them, and they went to say, oh no. And she said, I want to see what you're doing with the money you receive. And they said, okay, there's no way to go there. We said, okay, we give you helicopters. If you want tanks, we'll give you tanks and uh, uh, soldiers, if everything you want. But you have to go on the ground and see exactly what they're doing with your money. And they didn't go because they're doing nothing. I don't say that everybody did, uh, doesn't do anything, but this is the case. And these oil NGOs are taking that image, pushing it in internationally, so that they can, they can receive money. We don't care about receiving money, unless uh, you, you support exactly the, benef uh, the, the population which, which, are, which, which, are, which is in the, need, in the need. So, we as government, we don't we don't need money to help our population. What we need is peace. Because we have everything, we are, we are enough intelligent, we are enough motivated to do it by ourselves. And what we need cooperation with everybody. We need cooperation with everybody who want to make money in Congo and uh, help Congo, that, that's, that's how it is. We need respect from everybody because we are respecting everybody, but we cannot and will never accept orders because we are an independent country. So we think that we know exactly who we are uh, and where we are going, and we, th we think that we can go with cooperation with everybody. This is it. Does anyone else have any questions? You should ask the woman the first to go to the